Hello, welcome to Dawa CIT. In the previous video sessions of NTT Framework, we discussed about the database first approach. If you haven't seen that video yet, I will give the link in the description below and you can see it from. But today we are going to discuss about the entity frameworks model first approach means what is model first approach and how to implement it. So let's start. The entity framework provides three different approaches to create an entity model and each one has their own pros and cons. I mean there are three different approaches to create an entity model and each one has their own merits and demerits, you know advantages and disadvantages. And this entity model you can use in your application using entity framework. First is database first approach, second model first approach and third is code first approach. These three approaches are very important when you are working with database and developing application. So in the video part 2, we already discussed about the database first approach. So in this video of today, we will discuss about model first approach. Model first approach. In the model first approach, you create entities, relationships and inheritance hierarchy directly on the design surface of EDMX and then generate model cores and the database from your visual model. I mean in the model first approach, first you create entities that is tables and the relationships on the design surface of EDMX and then entity framework generate classes, properties, DB context as well as database and tables from your visual model. You know in this model first approach first we prepare the visual design according to our entity model and according to this entity model entity framework will use this visual design to generate model cores and database. So let me explain to you by diagram which will make you understand better. On the design surface of EDMX, first we create entities, entities that is tables and their relationships and based on these entities, entity framework will create model cores, model cores that is classes, properties and DB context and also create database and tables in SQL server. I mean through this visual design. Entity framework model first approach will create model cores as well as database. I think that through this diagram you would have understood what the model first approach is. So now let's show you practically that how to implement model first approach. So first of all we create new project. Click on file, new project, Select ASP.NET MBC for web application and I change this name model first approach. Click on OK. Select empty. You don't have to change anything here. Let it be like this. And now click on OK. Don't change anything here, ok? Click on ok. Now we will add adio.net entity data model. Right click on models. Add new item. Click on data and select adio.net entity data model. So I change this name. Ok, employee model, and click on add. Choose model contents, first is generate from database. We will have to select this option only if we already have an existing database. And through this existing database, we have to create model course and model design like database first approach then we select this option otherwise no ok but we are using the model first approach here that is we have to create model course and database through the visual designer so we have to select the empty model ok this option empty model we will select ok now click on finish
right now the entity data model designer is empty so we have to add here entity that is tables we will create in this visual designer okay so right click on empty designer add new entity type here entity name entity name is a table name okay so I will type here employee details if you want to set this employee ID as a primary key then you have to select this option create key property but if you don't want to set primary key then you uncheck this option okay but we want to select this option and select property type this is a data type okay so you select as your according okay now click on ok in this table we can add a lot of properties according to our choice that is you create as many columns as you want so let's add right click on entity add new scalar property so I change the property name type here I will give name if you want to change the property features like size and data type then select name and right click and click on properties as you can see here maximum length you can change the maximum length as your according just like where care 50 okay 50 and also you can change the data type see there are a lot of data type here and you can select as your according okay you can add as many scalar property as you want okay so I will create one more scalar property that is a date of joining so right click on entity add new scalar property and change name gender right click properties one more DOJ that of joining I change the data type name that time salary properties and type decimal now I add one more entity that is we create another table here right click on empty designer add new entity type here entity name means table name department so I change the property name DID and set as primary key ok and select data type in 32 now click on ok right click add new scalar property name you can add scalar property as your requirement but I want only two columns here so I added two scalar property on this table ok here you can see two different entities are created on the design surface of ADMX now we have to create relationship between these two entities employee details and department I mean now we will create relationship between these tables as a foreign key ok so right click on empty area add new and select association read this line add foreign key properties to the department entity it means in the department entity 
foreign key will add and through the references we can access another table i mean we combine two tables and access information to each other and it is possible only through this foreign key property and this foreign key add in department entity to the references of employee details table now click on ok you can change this name as you want ok so i change this name okay see relationship is created these two tables now visual designer part is completed control plus s save now we'll generate model codes and database through the visual designer i mean based on this visual designer we will create we will generate model codes and database so right click here and click on generate database from model click on new connection type here your server name if you don't know what's your server name open sql server click on file connect object explorer and see this is your server name copy and paste here here you have to enter the name of the database by which name you want to save in sql server so enter database name i will type employee this is my database name save in sql server okay now click on okay click on next This is your table query which is automatically created. Now click on finish. Now right click here and click on execute. Connect. Say command completed successfully. This means your database has been created in SQL Server. Now let's check database and tables are created or not. Open SQL Server. See employee database is created. Here you can see there are two tables are created. One is employee details and another one is departments. So database and tables have been created automatically when you use model first approach. See, there are five columns added in employee details table, employee ID, name, gender, date of joining and salary. Here employee ID is set as a primary key. SMS department table, three columns added, department ID, name and employee ID. Department ID is set as primary key and employee ID is set as foreign key which is reference of another table that is access the employee details table now let's check model codes that is classes properties and db context are generated or not so come back to visual studio click on model.tt no class and properties have been created here right if classes and properties are not created in your model class then what do you have to do very simple right click on empty design and click on add code generation item select db context generator and now click on add see new model class has been generated let's check See, the classes and properties has been created, right? Employee details and columns name. Employee ID, name, gender, date of joining and salary. Now let's check DB context. 
employee model container is a connection string name which is inherited the DB context. I mean we can access connection string name by the reference of DB context. So you saw how and in what way we created model course and database from the visual model. This was the complete process of model first approach where we learned what the model first approach is and how to implement. Hope you liked and I will catch you with another new video. Till then stay connected with our channel Dava CIT. Thank you so much for watching.